Gales, heading to our last camp of the road trip, Kambati near Swellendam. A bit early, we can only check in later, so we're going to take a scenic route as we usually do. All along the coast, past Kansby, Pearly Beach, Cape Agulhas. See where the road takes us, but eventually it's going to bring us out at Kambati. See you there. Party. Here we are, Afri Camps number 11. There's the hot tub, which apparently has been started already. It's not a riverfront property. But the places are different, but the tents are all the same. Some are slightly better equipped, like we've got wood for the fire. Main bedroom. That's the air conditioner is on. And that very lovely, very comfortable queen-size bed. But it's quite nice, it's got a screen around it. Bedroom number two. That's just some quite really nice little touches there. There's some little touches that just make all the difference. This is hot. Probably got to give it a stir. Even How's that for service? And then she says it's too hot, but then she's chucking more wood in. Going to offload all our stuff now for the eleventh time. Just walking around Kambati and there seems to be quite a lot of other accommodation options as well. So let's start there. There's the Africa camps, there's these kind of almost eco pods, there's, there's chalets up there. Pretty much geared for families. Water slides, not in use. It's a grey, rainy, drizzly day. It's pretty much a, a family kind of place. And the bar, the lounge. Quite cool, very nice. And the mini golf, putt putt. Very nice. It's just a pity the weather is also very quiet. It's a weekday. So, this is the campsite for camping in your own tent. Seems to be really nice next to the river. Triple points, lights. That's the pump that you can hear. Somebody camping right on the riverbank. It's like a hole. Whereas in happier times, when there's no restrictions, it could get quite festive, I imagine. I must say, I'm very impressed. The weather's sadly not conducive to making the most of the facilities. The reception and the shop. And this is Kambati on the Breda River, just outside Swellendam in the Western Cape. Africa Camps is part of it, but there's facilities for traditional camping. They have chalets, they have eco pods in which you can stay. The farm is owned by the Badenhorst family. It started in 1958 by Bati Badenhorst. Bati is the source of the name, Kambati. The two successors of Bati Badenhorst are Yaku and Francois Badenhorst, who live on the farm and run it. The farm is called Jubilees Krald, and it's very large. The crops are, are wheat, canola, and sheep. The camps are really a privilege. So many of these farms have amazing places on them. Really, only a handful of farmers actually choose to share their little piece of the earth with the rest of us. I'm just so glad that the, the Badenhorst brothers did so. Without that, we wouldn't really be able to experience this part of the Western Cape. Swellendam, the third oldest town in South Africa. Let's call it Western style town. It was established in the 1700s, I think, 17 something or other. A lot of oak trees and stuff. Oak trees always get mine. But they declared independence at one stage in the 1800s. 
from Britain. The British didn't stand for that though, so it only lasted a couple of weeks, but it was the Republic once for a very brief period of time. Built 1802 with Turbine in Swellendam. This is Barrel and Blues. The restaurant used to be in town, but it's moved. So good steaks, nice vibe from an old house. Yeah. Oh, with the music. Can I video? <laughs> cool vibe. Even Tyler. Is that what you said? No, that's just what it looks like. This is the menu. Simple. A couple of other restaurants in town with French names and foods that you can't pronounce. That's not what I want. I just want this. Really like the pub vibe here. Local. Stuff, rum and ribs. Yeah, the best. Just approaching Cape Agulhas, which is the southernmost tip of the African continent. The Agulhas Lighthouse, which has been doing duty since 1849. Southernmost point of Africa. And there's a little walk, not too far. Taking the final steps to the southernmost tip of Africa. There we are. And we are now at the southernmost tip of the African continent. There we are. The fanfare of drama. I think if this was in Europe, there would be a amusement park and you'd have to pay, definitely you'd have to pay. This is the north-south line through the African continent. Right through Gallus, right there. Quite right, cool. This is the final day of our Africans road trip. We've traveled from Hoodsprate all the way down through South Africa to this southern Cape town of Swellendam and we've done it all in the consistent quality of Africams. It's been a huge privilege. Thank you Africams. Thank you to every single one of the camp owners, every single one of the managers. You've made this the most amazing experience. The owners and managers of the Africams brand, thank you so much. You have an amazing brand. You have an amazing product. Signing out from Africams at Kambati. Been a blast. Thanks, guys.